Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, in this week's video, we're going to do another one day build. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, doing that last one day build. Hopefully you guys have watched that video. I'll link it uh, here up above. Um, just trying something a little bit different for uh, the videos. Keep everybody interested, intrigued uh, and all that uh, when we're in a bit of a lull for the paintball season and in between events and whatnot. So I figure that was the best uh, best option to do it. So uh, this week I got a little rolling cart, a Stanley little rolling cart here, as you can see. Got that. Uh, got to clean it up. I'm using it for more storage uh, here in the workshop. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit, uh, populate the drawers and everything. And then I don't need all these uh, containers and slots and everything i just want to use these i don't need up all, all here so i'm going to cut a piece of wood for up top here and uh put it for another work area a bench uh nail it in place and put some super 77 on it and uh get it stuck down and then uh, uh then i got a nice little workbench on wheels down here so uh i guess there's nothing else to do than grab some cleaning supplies and uh, start cleaning this thing up. Right, got the top all nice and clean and everything got the extension cord out i'm gonna get ready to uh put my piece of wood on got my piece of wood here and uh i've already taken it out to the garage and cut it up uh did that off camera got it all cut the size so now uh all i gotta do is uh nail it in place here and uh make a nice smooth top so uh that's the next step There we go. Top is on. Looks good. Perfect. All right, got the top on. Now time to populate the bottom part. Uh, got some containers that are just kind of in the way for my guns. Put them down here. Battery bag for when we go on our trips can go in here too and then there's a couple other little things I can put in here but unfortunately the camera's on them right now so I can't do that so uh wait till I'm done filming this and then I'll put the camera or that in there move some stuff around I think we're in pretty good shape for the bottom anyway and then the middle part not too sure what I'm going to do yet with the drawers. Uh, got some stuff I can put in there. So uh, that's what I might do uh, next is uh, put some stuff in there. I got some headbands and uh, some other stuff, some hammers and whatnot. And kind of make it just my miscellaneous drawer. I'm just looking around right now trying to figure out what I can put in there to help optimize the space, especially the workbench. So, uh, yeah, 
that is what is uh, going on right now. Well, I'll have to have a little quick break here. We got uh, got the, like a pegboard on the side, which is really cool. And uh, I couldn't find my pegboard hooks. So I had to make a quick trip to uh, Princess Auto, get some pegboard hooks, because instead of putting them in the drawer, I want to put my hammers that I got the other day, I want to put them on the side. I think that'll be a better spot for them. So that is the next thing going to happen. And uh, then I'll still try to figure out, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to put in that top drawer there. So uh, let's continue. Add the extension cord on the bottom there got the hammers like you guys saw got the extension cord added now it's time to populate this little drawer and for right now anyway i'm going to put my full set of uh, mcgill's vlog power rangers headbands in there gonna put the pegboard clips in there so i know where they are and uh all that fun stuff. And then for right now, I think that's about it. What I can uh, see what I want to put in here. But uh, this will definitely be a work in progress. But uh, right now, that's the drawer. So, moving on. Well, I think that is it for the tool cart. Uh, I got Allen keys on top. I got my nice flat surface. Got the drawers populated like you guys saw. There's only one last thing to do. And we have to go into the studio to get that. Nothing is complete without... Where are we? Stickers. So putting a McGill's vlog sticker on it. So that is the next step. Gonna Don't pay attention to the laundry room. It's a mess. We're back in to the workshop there crisis diverted so next is put this bad boy on um gotta figure out where and then we will wrap this video up all right sticker time time to make it mine and like the wife always says time to andrify it There we go. Ten times harder than it needed to be. But that is it. That is a wrap. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I like doing these one-day builds, like I was saying in the last video. Uh, I really do like doing the DIY style. Uh, just getting... I uh, got to get better at uh, getting the different angles and uh, filming that. So uh, this isn't normally a DIY channel, so I'm not used to the different angles like a lot of the guys do like adam savage and uh colin furs uh all that make sure you guys check out those channels that's how you do diy videos so uh yeah that's a wrap i'm gonna say the next video after this one probably gonna be the ontario paintball classic the 10 man uh which super excited about that one uh henderson's got our teams all up and going and uh we're gonna have a ton of fun to close out the year of playing and then we are going to finish our season off in Kissimmee, Florida if there's anything left to Florida from the big storms so and for all my friends and everybody watching that are out in Florida right now during this uh, massive storm please be safe uh, take res refuge and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do and I will see you guys uh, when we are up in Kissimmee uh, November 6th to the 10th. So, uh, 
be safe and i don't want any excuses of not seeing you guys up there so uh that's it thanks for watching and i will see you guys next video